So now we've just taken another one. Different style. Different style. This is a Chrysler. Chrysler. 1955. Beautiful. I mean, we'll show you. He's had the whole car resprayed, new seats. Coffee. It's got air condition. When we go to um, Pinaduria, we'll go in this car. Yes. <laughs> so we're just going for lunch to Vistama in Miramar. And um, we went there for lunch yesterday as a recommendation from that's it. Yes, yeah, so I'm surprised I haven't been there. So yes. now it looks like every lunch time we're gonna end up there, yeah. gonna enjoy that, and then um, gonna have a nice lunch, have a good cigar. I'll show you, I'll show you the cigar, you'll see the cigar that we're gonna smoke as well. Got a lunch with Cigar Ashnado, David Savonia. Just gonna have a chat about the festival, have some nice lunch and then yes, I'm going to go and smoke a, an amazing cigar. Hopefully it's been a while since they've smoked this particular cigar. It's nice to smoke, you know, something special. Yeah. Something to talk about then as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure. And we don't do it often. Exactly. <laughs> did we tell them which day it is today? I don't think we did. It's Friday. Friday. <laughs> the day of the gala. The day of the gala, the Trinidad day. Yes, which we're going to share with everybody as well. A lot of shouting, a lot of music, but a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You know. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to what they're going to... We know what they're giving out, but what super special cigar hopefully we're going to get. And obviously to see what kind of prices these humidors are going to get. To, if, will they beat Nick last year's prices? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well. Wow. <laughs> you know, and Massimo Diart, who made uh, number six Cavendish humidors, um, he's made two humidors this time. So they hate Chapman? Hey Chapman and the Trinidad. The Trinidad. Yeah. And beautiful. his work is just it's beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. Yeah, looking forward so, to it. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Wow. You know when you when you when you drive in Havana as you can hear, all of a sudden you get loud music. So it's Havana. <laughs> it's Havana. Oh yeah. So all right. Well, we'll see you at at the lunch. See you at the lunch. Have one of these? I, I do not, David. What, you, no, no. You do I've heard about it. 
I, this is the first time I've seen this. Yeah, the Monte Cristo Year of the Dragon. Now I don't get this. I don't get that reaction from you very often. And this is a delight to tri to uh, <laughs> give something to you that you haven't seen yet. Okay, wow. Okay, so there we go. It is, isn't it? Normally I say, yeah, I've seen it. I've had it, but nope, I haven't seen it. I've just seen pictures. First time I'm seeing it. Thank Excellent. you. Well, I hope you like. It. I have not yeah. smoked one yet. Okay. I, I have two, but now I have one, so that that, that is yours. So Do you know what? I'm going to take this back to London, and I'm, I'm going to smoke it. Okay. But I've noticed something on this band. They've changed the band. Yeah, again. Yeah. They they made it darker. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay. They made a darker band. Yeah, compared to what you got on the Leander. Yeah, much darker band. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's, yeah, all these little, you know, things that you pick up, you know, it's, it's good to know. Good, it's to, good know. to know. You know? So I'm going to smoke that later. Thank you, you smoke very that much. later. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you had the St. Christabel. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah, you got that the press release. What do you think of it? I mean, look, what do you think of the band? I think the band is beautiful. This is the other size. No, I have both of them here. Okay, so. Okay. Right, I get things sometimes at a different pace. You you will get this, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we're going to get this. Oh, right, because that was for, yeah, they, okay, that was at a... Okay, so this is the Cuban release, 200 humidors made, only released in Cuba. Sadly, uh, sadly apparently, I don't have the humidor. You, but you saw the humidor, right? I saw the and humidor, you yes, saw, right. uh, yeah, I saw it at, you went to the press conference. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw it at the convention center. And obviously this one is the collection book. So, I'm not, and obviously, what do you think of the new band? I like it. I think it's stately. You know, I love the, I love the, the gilded look here. It kind of, I think it's a little more triumphant than the older version. You know, I think it's nice. Mm, yeah. You know, because what makes it nicer is because it's a special release, mm -hmm. you know, and by having a special band for the special release, it makes it even better, but it makes it harder for people who yeah. fake cigars. Yeah, that's true. You always need all the help you can get. Yeah, 100%. I do love this, too. This could not be more... Uh, the foot band? It screams. I yeah. think it's a great idea. I generally don't like foot bands just because I, I find they get in the way and they slow me down to light the cigar. But this, one, this one's coming off nice and easy. So. Yep, and I think it's a great idea because, you know, we've all had the experience of fraying from the foot. Yes. Yeah, and once they start fraying, the whole cigar just explodes. You know, but I think it's it's a great idea. Definitely. You know, for me, I know Cuba doesn't cellophane their cigars. Right. Yeah. And I know the New World cellophane their cigar, cigars. Almost, yeah, mo most do. Most do. 95%. There is zero return, which is a plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where in, as a retailer, we get a lot of people looking at the cigar thinking, oh, you know what, oh, if, can I change this, please? And I go, listen, within seconds, it's going to go. No, 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 but I, I need a complete cigar. <laughs> By doing this, it's already, as retailers, it's good for the retailers. Because the damage tends to come from here when there's damage. Correct. The yeah, damage in the foot is not a big deal because no. you're in the light, it's going to turn No, but for the consumer it is. Yeah. Well, they see imperfection, they don't want to Yes, 100%. Well, the cellophane in the U.S. is quite good because not only does it, it protects the cigar, but it's also, we're, uh, the United States is a nation of, of buying in singles. People, they buy boxes, sure, but for the most part, someone goes to a cigar shop, grabs, 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 grabs. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of touching involved, and it also yeah. it protects when you throw them in your pocket or whatever. And exactly. Move around with them. Yeah, so. yeah. And it, it's all a plus, 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 you know? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I don't know if I told you, I'm, um, I am here with David Slavonia from Cigar Aficionado. We, we try and make a lunch date every time we come to Havana because Absolutely. it's the only time we meet. I know, sadly. You know, sadly. It's a perfect place to meet. So, um, yeah, David has been here for four years. Um, so it's great to see his point of view on the festival, you know. So today is the last gala event. You went to Monday. Yes, went to Monday, went to two, I went to Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Been here all week, arrived on Sunday. Now, you came on Okay, so the Wednesday, so the four years ago, you came to an event where they had the, in, uh, the Wednesday sit-down events. So, <clears throat> the last event you were here, after that, what they did is all the cocktail. So it was outside, walking around, all the food was everywhere, no way to sit. And you were shattered, even before the evenings finished. <laughs> So you, had, you didn't get that experience, but well, on they, Monday yeah, night... They, they did a couple of those before. Oh, you early, did? But yeah, which I I think it's a mistake to yes. have the walk around on Wednesday. I'm so glad they brought it back to the yeah. sit-down. Convivial, oh. you have a nice place to 
make your home, smoke your cigars, take oh, your notes. Oh, hundred percent. I even, you know, I even went up to Habanos, uh, and I said to them, you know, guys, you know, this is how it should be. Listen, whilst we were chatting, right, um, we're going to have a cigar, which um, I think David may have had this a while back. Um, and he may not have had, he may not have had one f for a little while, or he may not have had it. All right, okay. Huh? Oh, what I see do you think? Box. You see the box? Did you see the date? My eyes are bad. I oh, can't see. That's even That's better. <laughs> As you know, I keep a stash here. You do? Yeah. And it's always good to see how the cigars age here. Um, wow. You know, when we have our lunch, it's pointless bringing a new cigar. Yeah, because either you've smoked it or you've seen it around. Let's talk about something different. Magnum 56, limited edition 2015. Fantastic. You've had it. I've had it, but it's been a long time. I've not had an aged one for sure. Well, I, you know what, I probably had it blind. Yeah, I, okay. I, I know I've had it given to me with a tasting band on and I gave it a rating at some point, but yeah, I yeah. don't believe I've smoked one like this. I certainly haven't smoked one with this much age on this. So. I'll tell you what, this so, is, yeah. So this is, this is it's, it's an open cabinet. Huh? So I've obviously been smoking from it, but uh, there's only I think only three gone from it, so it's still a fantastic, an intact, an intact cabinet. Smell that. AJ, I can't thank you enough. This has been a lovely lunch. I'm gonna run. So. <laughs> you gotta go. Are you with the cabinet? <laughs> Obviously, you know the way I like people to smell cigars. Yeah, is literally nose touch. Eyes closed and smell. Takes you into a tobacco barn in Cuba. Doesn't Fantastic. it? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, Lovely. Thank you, AJ. <laughs> ah. The wrapper as well. What's the wrapper? Poor Greg. Oh. <laughs> Poor Greg. Sorry, Greg. You know what they say, don't you, Greg? Huh? You snooze, you lose. <laughs> no, we're not like that. No, we're we're, we're good, not. Like we're good that. people. We're good people. We're not like that. So, Greg, on camera, just to let you know, I'm gonna give David a cigar, and if he doesn't give it to you, <laughs> you know you did have one for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm going to give Greg his cigar. It wouldn't be a bad person. There you person. go. Give that, give that to Greg. Okay, that goes to Greg. So, so guys, I'm going to light my cigar with my um, Trinidad SG Dupont. It's a naked flame, and obviously, you've seen where we're sitting. We're sitting by the ocean, the wind is coming in. So generally, I would not light my cigar straight in my mouth and light the cigar, but this time I have to. So excuse me, okay? Terribly better. This will.
Well, you know what? We've enjoyed a fabulous lunch. That's what we call a slow lunch, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, a slow lunch with good company and an outstanding cigar as well. It's a brilliant cigar. I've really enjoyed this, AJ. This is fantastic. Compared to when we first started, it started at Fort Mine. It started at little bitterness at the beginning, mm -hmm. but then it literally just evolved to just, for me, it's a lot of aromaticness, yeah, a um, lot of chocolate, and especially retrohaling. The, the chocolate is my favorite part. I think the, the middle third of this cigar was, was the most best. An absolute uh, piece of magic. Yes. Really, really wonderful. Yeah, very, very wasn't good. it? It was yeah. great. And I remember you at one point literally said, oh, wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm. Wow, look at Oh, I enjoyed that. Sometimes a cigar takes a little bit long to be your friend and make yeah. an introduction, and this is it. It was. It sure does, you know. And the reason, you know, I lo and we love doing this, having a few, leave a few boxes here to see how they age in Cuba because of the temperature difference compared to London and the rest of the world. But this particular cabinet of 25, H. Upman Magnum 56 2015 Limited Edition, it's delicious. On the get go, really. Get go. <laughs> I'm just sad that it's almost over. Mm. <laughs> You'll have another one to take home, okay? So you can smoke it in the summer, on your porch, which I know you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, having some plantation rum and just enjoying it. <laughs> it does pair nicely with the Havana Club 7 here. It does, and we've, we've had a, we're drinking Havana Club 7 as well. And it's, it, it works well, it works well, yeah. Uh, well, I've enjoyed the chat. Always good chat. Man. Always good. David, thank you very much. Until next year. And everyone else, hope you enjoyed this little chat. Until our next video, and behind, Rekha is behind the camera. Hasta luego.